I am reading from a teleprompter. It occurred to me, I've never colored teleprompters. Let's start with the basics. When you're talking to a camera, your options are, one, just talk away. Look at the camera and spew off what you're gonna say. Some people are really good at this, most are not. To do this well, it takes practice. Two, writing something down like a script sort of thing on what you're gonna say, then you practice the hell out of it until you can do it verbatim or close to it. That's learning your lines and it also takes a lot of practice. There's all sorts of variations of this, like having a pad of paper with you, reading a couple of sentences, then saying it to the camera, and you'll have to cut the hell out of it. Three, read the written text of what you are to say. You can use cue cards, paper, and others, but these are clunky and need another person, and that's where teleprompters come in. Here's how it works. A three-sided enclosure is mounted over the camera and lens, a piece of glass is mounted at a 45 degree angle at the front of the enclosure. A device that scrolls the text is mounted below the enclosure opening. As the text scrolls, it is reflected off the glass so the person talking can read it. Since the glass it is a 45 degree angle, the lens can't see the text, and the person talking is able to look directly into the lens. By the way, the teleprompter was invented to help live television actors with a lot of lines. Teleprompter comes from television prompter, not because it's on a screen, but because it was designed to prompt television actors. The originals were simply a scrolled paper with a crank. These are also called auto cues in Europe. Professional teleprompters can be remotely controlled, follow your voice, and more. The benefit of these is you can look directly into the camera lens. Most of these options are not for people watching this channel due to the high cost, although there are DIY options. Also, mounting a teleprompter to your camera is another piece of gear you have to mess with, mount around, and transport. If you insist on having one of these types, I've included links to some costly and DIY teleprompters in the description below. Dependency. I don't want to be dependent on a teleprompter. I do some episodes off the top of my head, some with teleprompter and everything in between because I like to be able to do these off the cuff and I don't want to end up being dependent on a teleprompter. The thing I do like about the teleprompter, it keeps me on the subject and I don't do a lot of blah blah. Well, most of the time. Keep it simple. Personally, I like simple. Something I always have with me, my phone. I use an app called Promptware, but frankly, any teleprompting app will do. This also works on iPads and other smart devices, but again, I always have my phone with me, so I use that. No matter what you get, make sure you control the size of the text and the speed at which it scrolls. Process. I don't care what method you use to talk to the camera. The easiest I found is writing what I am going to say. Since my scripts are really simple, I use my email program and work on the draft. I can set it down and come back to it any time. Once I have the script nailed down, I read it out loud over and over and over. Make sure you read it out loud because it's different than reading it. I modify it short and clarify things and read it aloud again. I set it aside and I come back to it later. And I do the same thing again and again and again. Once I'm happy with it, I email it to myself. I open the email on my phone, copy all the text, run my teleprompter app, and paste it in. Practice. It would be foolish to set this next to my camera and just start filming. That's okay, but it's not gonna look and sound natural. Spend time rolling the teleprompter, reading it out loud, setting it aside, doing it again and again. Since you have it on your phone, you can do it anywhere and anytime you want. Mess with it to get the correct scrolling speed, maybe re-edit the text so you could say it like you would normally look natural. The purpose of a teleprompter is to help you verbalize a lot of words. It should look and sound natural. If you look like you're reading something, it won't. We already covered practice. This is key. If you don't practice it, it won't look and sound natural. Besides that, there are a couple of things that can happen mechanically that will look bad too far. Remember, we're not using a teleprompter that is over the lens. The camera is a couple of feet away and you set the teleprompter too far off from the lens. The person watching will see you're not looking into the lens. Also, they'll see your eyeballs moving back and forth. To fix this, mount your teleprompter as close to the lens as possible. For my camera setup, my iPhone sits right under the lens of my camera. Another way is a cheap iPhone mount clamp, something like this, too close. If you have the room, you can set the teleprompter further away, like five to 10 feet. There's no rule that says the teleprompter has to be on the camera. That way your eyeballs aren't moving back and forth while you're reading the text. If your camera's already seven or 10 feet away like mine, it won't matter. A lot of people don't have that kind of room, so the camera's really close. 
It doesn't mean you can't set the teleprompter further away than the camera. Too little. If you make the text too small, your eyeballs are going to move back and forth reading the line. Don't be afraid to set the text big enough. Once you're satisfied, practice looking natural. I try and look natural when I'm reading from a teleprompter. That's because I practice the lines a lot and I pretty much know what's coming next. I not only wrote this, but read this thing out loud 10 or 20 times before I start filming. That gives me the luxury to talk the way I would normally talk. Here's an example. Don't forget to do the following. 1. Practice your script out loud while editing. 2. Practice your script out loud on the teleprompter. Don't forget to do the following. 1. Practice your script out loud editing. 2. Practice your script out loud on the teleprompter. 3. Place the teleprompter close to the lens. And 4. Get the teleprompter as far away as you can. In the second example, I pretty much know what I'm going to say, so it's not hard for me to count on my fingers or periodically look away and back to the lens. There's a lot more to using a teleprompter than this, but I thought it would cover some of the basics. And remember, like anything else, the key is doing it over and over until it becomes second nature. You can reach me by comment or email, connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, and other social media, and get more in-depth concept at my website, basicfilmmaker.com. All the links are in the description below. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.